happy Monday. Or, you know what? Just Monday. Monday to you. Today's just been... Ugh, start off alright, but it's just been so shitty. And just getting shittier as the time goes on. Thank God for my beloved Dunkin' Donuts, or I would probably blow up a building or something today, I don't know. I had to get up early after like no sleep and take Liam to my, my brother's house. Um, and then I was supposed to head to my parents' place and get their dog Star. Because unfortunately I have to take her, I have to take her down to be put to sleep today. So obviously I'm not looking forward to that. I'm really, really like dreading it actually. Uh, and then I'm just frustrated as hell because I drove almost all the way to my parents and I had to turn around and get the DM. I forgot, my, I let my brother use my GPS and I forgot to grab it before I left. And I have no idea where the hell this animal hospital is. So I'm like really pissed off and today's just not going well. Let's just say that. I'm trying to just let it go. Um, I'm just really, I don't know, like I said, it's obviously not a fun thing to have to put down a pet. And Star has been in my family for 14 years. And like I said, it just really sucks. I, Star is going to be, she was 15, so she's lived a long life. Um, I don't have any regrets there, and I'm, I'm just so sad, you know, that I have to, <laughs> she has to, to do this. And I, you know, I wish, I wish all my, you know, our pets could live forever, but that's just not... Unfortunately, that's just not realistic. So, we've been through this once before. When I was a sophomore in high school, we had to put down our dog, Comet. He's a beautiful beagle. And, he, you know, he was, he was old. He was like 13. And he had cancer all throughout his body. And they said that uh, pretty much no matter what we did, you know, it was just delaying the inevitable and barely at that. So... We, uh, you know, as a family, we made the decision he had to be put down, and that was awful. And I still, like, I was a sophomore in high school. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of old now, and I still cry about it if I, you know, if I talk about him. Star is our last connection to him. She was just a pup when he, you know, when he was alive, and she tormented the hell out of him. That's, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But um, I don't know. I'm just really. It just sucks, you know? And I worked, uh, I've mentioned it in videos, but I, I was an animal control officer for a number of years, and, you know, I've, I've had to help people through it, and I always tried to be, you know, I've, I've lived through it, and I know how much it sucks, and I always try to be there for people when they had to go through it. I personally had to, to put animals down, you know, from time to time, and it's, it's never fun, it's never easy, it doesn't get easier. She's miserable, she's in pain, she's got arthritis, she's... I think she has cancer. She um, she's just so old, and you know she's frail, and she's she doesn't want to eat anymore, really. And it's just, just like I said, it's just her time. My dad had a heart attack a few years ago, and he's had a lot of issues stemming from that. And you know his, his heart's weak, and he's being <laughs> the big animal lover he is, and how much he loves this dog. He just he couldn't handle doing this today, so. And my mom, oh gosh, she's been crying nonstop. So she she definitely can't do it. She would, you know, they both would if they had to. But you know, I said I would do it. And so I'm on my way to pick her up and I'm gonna take her to the vet hospital to have it done. And then I will be driving her to my grandparents' house. Uh, they have like we always joke it's like a pet cemetery back there in their backyard. They've lived in this house forever. My, my grandmother's dead now. She died years ago, but my, my pup's still alive, and the house will always stay in the family. And, I mean, they've had a million pets from, like, my dad and them were kids, and Comet is buried back there. It's just, it's kind of nice, um, just knowing that she'll be with him. So, I don't know. It just sucks, bro. This is Star. <laughs> Star, look at you, old lady. Star. This is our girl, Star. Hello. Yeah, lay down. I 
just went to get her from my, my parents house and uh, we cut her nails a little bit my dad and I he said his goodbyes and you know we both got a little upset but she just she just looked so ready she, I mean she didn't even fight she hates getting her nails done she barely fought that um, you know and then I my dad carried her and got her in the car. She couldn't even get in the car. My, I have a little Toyota, you know what I mean? And she couldn't, uh, she couldn't even get in the car, so we had to get her in. And my mom got her this, uh, this blanket. She's, she, uh, she gets to go down with that. And I just, I'm so sad, but, I mean, just kind of reiterates, we're just looking at her that it's the right thing to do. Right, girl? Yeah. And, uh, she loves car rides, so this is nice. And my dad said he gave her, uh, she had a big meal last night, and, uh, her favorite, she had, like, pizza. And this dog is Italian, I'm telling you. She, my dad let her eat whatever she wanted. She had pizza and, um, hot dogs and whatever. And then he said this morning for breakfast, he let her have some crispy cream donuts. So she, uh, She's content with life right now. I'm not doing too great, but, you know. There's my girl. Look at that face. Look at that face. I, um... Signed her in, and we're just waiting now for them to uh, to call. I told them I didn't want to bring her inside, so I'm just waiting for, I guess, them to come out. And uh, I don't know if it's, you know, obviously I'm upset, but I don't know if it's that or like my hormones, but I'm like a freaking mess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm exactly like, I'm exactly what I didn't want or what I wanted to avoid. <laughs> I usually don't like, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't know, pretty, pretty down. I cried like the whole way here. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I'm just really, it's not fun, huh? not uh looking forward to this in any way <sighs> sucks dude she's such a good girl she was like staring out the window the whole time I have the air on right now because we're just sitting in the car but I uh she likes car rides and um so we drove with the windows down and she really liked that. She stared out the window for like the longest time. Today is a really bad day for her back legs. <laughs> um, yeah, today's a really bad day for her back legs. So I think it just kind of reiterates the whole, you know, this needs to be done thing. So, and I felt like such an idiot. I, cause I don't, I don't cry like, a lot. Or definitely not in public. <laughs> and, uh, I went inside to, to get her all signed in and everything, and, um, I got upset because some lady, I've obviously, like, you know, been crying. And some lady was at the desk, and she was really nice, like, just some lady who was there with her pet, and, uh, she's like, are you okay? And I was like, no. <laughs> so I told her, you know, why I'm here, and, uh, like, she's just a total stranger, and she hugged me, <laughs> and she told me she was sorry, and she was just really nice, and we talked for a while, so that was nice, and, uh, she gave me a hug, and it made me feel a little better, <laughs> just, like I said, I, you know, I know it has to be done, it just, I don't know, it just sucks, <sighs> Probably the crappiest part is now we have to like wait. So, 
but she looks pretty happy. She looks pretty content, so extra time with her is good. All right, I am, Star and I are on our way. We uh, just left the vet hospital and I'm, I bawled my eyes out, but it, uh, it was good, it was very peaceful. And the vet, the vet was wonderful. She came out and talked to me and uh, she gave Star a sedative. And what was really kind of cute was uh, Star's not skittish around people, but um, the older she got, she couldn't hear very well or see very well. And she's not just gonna go to a stranger. She wasn't really walking very well. And um, she actually got up off my back seat. I had her like with her blanket. And she got up off the back seat. <laughs> And uh, she climbed into Liam's car seat, which the vet and I were kind of like, what? It was kind of cute. And uh, the vet was like, is that okay? I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, my son wouldn't mind. So she um, she got in the car seat and the, the vet gave her a sedative just to relax her, you know, muscle relax her and everything. She gave me about 10 minutes with her, with Star. And I just talked to her and gave her kisses and just tell her how much we all love her and because uh, we do and um, she just I mean she seemed she seemed like she was out of it then and uh, she made her breathing was so shallow and she just seemed like she was so relaxed and at peace and uh, the vet came back with a male tech about I don't know like I said like 10 minutes or so later and they checked her to make sure that, you know, she was relaxed and doped up. And uh, the vet came and uh, they shaved her arm a little bit so they could get to the, the vein. And uh, they gave her the drug. And I swear to you, the vet, I mean, that stuff touched her and she was gone. It, uh, it, took, it took little to nothing um, for her to go. And... Um, you know, like I said, it was it was like she didn't even feel it. She that you know it, it sucks, but that really uh, kind of solidified to me that we were doing the right thing. I mean, I knew we were, but it's easier. It's easier when you know you can see it. You know that it's. Which it was crazy that at the time that Star was getting put down. The nice lady that had been in the uh, the vet hospital that was talking to me, she came out to walk her dog, so she just came over and and, uh, and talked to me. I think she could tell, you know, maybe I just kind of needed someone, so that that was nice. A little awkward, but kind of nice. That was funny. She's like, "Wait a second, when are you due?" I'm like, "Anytime." She's like, "Oh my god, I hope it's not like I hope this doesn't do it." And I was like, "You know, I kind of hope it does." So, um, and the day on a positive. It'll definitely be different without her around, you know, just, I mean, like I said, we had her 14 years, almost 15 years, so it's like, you just get so used to having them, you kind of take it for granted, and, you know, you know, life is short, so, but as far as dog lives go, she, uh, she had a pretty long one, so, 